Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot and is the company Helium One filled with hot air. Well, the Sunday Times columnist Ian Cowie is invested in the company and he too experienced the 52% drop in the company's share price earlier this month when it announced it had drilled one kilometre and found no commercial quantities of helium. However, Cowie reminds us that the market is manic depressive and that the value of shares can go up as well as down. And he reminds us helium is important. It keeps vaccines very cold, for example, and he believes that in the long term, helium one might just find what it's looking for. Now, investing in new companies is a bit like the risk you take when you date someone you know has a history of borderline personality disorder. They are delicious when they're in a good mood and pretty revolting when they're not. So to the companies wanting to unleash themselves on the fickleness of the stock market, though as I say that I'm not entirely convinced about the fickleness comment, people get scared, they walk away. Okay, so digital bank Monzo is the company in the sector most likely to be recommended by its customers. Now, how do I know that? Well, the Competition and Markets Authority conducts a six monthly survey and the most recent survey shows 83% of Monzo's bank clients would recommend Monzo to a friend. Tesco Bank only gets 48% of those same approval ratings. But Monzo Bank is one company that has been mooted as possibly having an IPO in the pipeline. At the moment, they're denying that. Now, as for quiet summers, 2021 isn't shaping up to be one of them. The old boy network I referenced in last week's video when I was talking about the Morrison's takeover battle appears to have been enacted. It has prevailed because the chief executive of Morrison's has favoured the offer from his chum, Sir Terry Leahy. But that deal is already under scrutiny, not about what will be appearing on the shelves, but what will be happening on the forecourt, i.e. the number of petrol stations the group would own. And who's next on the list of the potential takeover targets? Jay Sainsbury's. And why or why are these takeovers occurring? And I'm not just talking about in the supermarket space. Answers on a virtual postcard, please. Or you could read the Canaccord Genuity Wealth Management's list of hot takeover targets, which include IG Group, Jupiter Fund Management, Bruin Dolphin, and Brooks McDonald. Well, many of my videos this year have focused on the gold exploration company, those in search of bullion. But many investors visiting lse.co.uk want to know how to invest in the stuff already found. So head to the blogs on lse.co.uk, which has unearthed a gem of an article written by Andrew Craig, and they've republished it for your summertime reading pleasure. Well, in terms of pleasure, rest while you can, because the looming final quarter of the year is going to be a blooming busy one. See you same time next week.